Hello sis, welcome back here. Today we have an empowering topic for all the amazing women out there and that's on how to become a high value wealthy woman. Before we dive in, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to stay updated on our empowering content. Now, when we talk about being a high value wealthy woman, it's not about money. It's about creating a life of abundance in all aspects of our life. Let me break this down into different steps and I'll go with step one being financial literacy. First and foremost, financial literacy is key. Educating ourselves about budgeting, investing and understanding the financial markets is paramount. You cannot not not understand this aspect if you want to become a wealthy woman. This knowledge is the foundation for building wealth over time. In the town of Prosperity Vale, Maya discovered a magical book on financial literacy, budgeting, investing, goal setting, and managing debt became her tool on the transformative journey with newfound knowledge. Maya's confidence soared and she empowered others in her community. And that's one of the amazing thing about this platform where we encourage women, inspire women to becoming the best version of ourselves. And that's why if you know any woman around you who wants to be a wealthy woman, not just a wealthy woman, but a high value wealthy woman, please do not forget to share this video with them so that they can be part of our community. So now her tale, that's Maya's tale, enlightens or enhances the magical impact of financial literacy on personal and community prosperity. Now you see why you have to be part of this amazing community, right? Yes. Now the second step of becoming a high value woman is career development. Now let's, let's discuss career development. Aim high, set clear goals and continuously invest on your skills. Whether you are an entrepreneur or climbing the corporate ladder, a successful career contributes significantly to your financial well-being. Now we're going to go on to the third aspect of becoming a high value woman. Smart investing. I always say, if you do not have a leverage system, please do not invest for now. I will advise you to do more of savings. Okay, save, um, go to your bank, um, ask your, your bank manager or your account officer on the best saving platform that you can plug into that has a high um, saving interest rate. I advise you do that. But if over time you've grown your business or you've grown your career and you now have enough money to invest, by all means, I'm talking to you here. Now, let's talk about smart investing. Explore various investment options from stocks to real estate. Diversifying your portfolio helps manage risks and can accelerate your wealth building journey. So now another step is setting financial goals. I always believe in setting goals so that you align yourself towards getting to your destinated journey. Imagine this saying or imagine this scenario where 22 footballers are just running around the field. They are just running around the field and there is no goal post. What do we call them? That means they are wasting time. That means what is the purpose of them running around the field? Well, as, as, so imagine there is a goal post. That means their goal or their goal is to make sure that they score a goal in that goal post. So that's why it's very important to have a financial goal. So that in, as we get busy in life, as we get busy being a mother, as we get busy being a wife, as we get busy being a young girl and understanding what life is about, it's important we have a financial goal. So that as life gets busy, you know that I need to achieve this. I need to become financially secure in this aspect of my life. I need to, you, you understand? So the idea is set your financial goal. And while setting your goal, let it be clear. 
Setting clear financial goal is crucial. De define your goals. That means your short-term goals and your long-term goals. It has to be objective. Whether it's buying a home, starting a business, or achieving financial independence, having a roadmap, like I mentioned initially, keeps you focused and motivated. And the next is personal growth. I keep saying, if you're not growing, then you're dying. So we have to intentionally make sure that we are growing. Wealth is not just about money. It's about personal growth. It's about personal, intentionally growing, cultivating a growth mindset, embrace challenges, and learning from our failures will help us grow financially. Continuous self-improvement contributes not only to your wealth, but also to your overall fulfillment. So next on my list I want to talk about is having a work-life balance. Maintaining a healthy work-life balance is essential. So we need to prioritize self-care. We need to prioritize mental health and prioritize quality time with loved ones. A balanced life contributes to sustained success and happiness. That's why we need to take time to go to the spa, go to the salon, go have fix your nails and look good. Okay? It helps. Really, it does. So next I'll be addressing, I think, which will be the last one, is building strong relationship. Building strong relationship is another key aspect. Surround yourself with supportive individuals, seek mentors, and network with like-minded people. Connections can open doors to opportunities you might not have imagined. And that's why I always say, if you have five broke friends, you're the sixth one. If you have five wealthy friends, you are the sixth one. If you have five intelligent friends, you are the sixth one. If you have five friends who are intentional about their growth, then you are the sixth one. So you have to be very intentional about who we surround ourselves with. As we wrap this up, remember that being a high-value wealthy woman is a holistic journey. You, we cannot, you cannot wake up and you're wealthy. So you know that it's a journey that we have to intentionally apply the skills, the knowledge that we get day after day so that at the end of the day, we achieve our goals to becoming a high value woman. High value women is a holistic journey. It's about embracing financial intelligence, excelling in your career, setting goals, personal growth, and maintaining a balance in life. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share with someone who needs to hear this. Share this with a friend that you feel, okay, you know what, I actually want to grow financially and I don't want to surround myself with friends that don't want to grow financially. So, hey friend, I'm sharing this to you so that we can both grow together, okay? So share this to who needs to hear this and comment below with your thoughts, with your thoughts. Hey, wealthy women, thank you for tuning in. Stay empowered, stay inspired, and I'll see you in my next video. And for now, remain blessed. Mwah.